is change coming to Washington, D.C. from Northern Virginia? The reason that I endorsed Senator Wexson the day she got in the race last year was because I considered her to be one of my legislative role models. It had everything to do with who Senator Wexton is as a person, what she has stood for, what she has championed, and that time and time again she has been on the right side of our issues while at the same time getting stuff done. Please give the hearty, warm welcome to the next congresswoman from the 10th Congressional District. Something that many of you probably don't know is a little bit about my history with LGBTQ issues. For me, it really started um, in earnest when I was in college. During that time, my college boyfriend's brother transitioned and became his sister. And this was, as I say, quite a while ago. Uh, and it was very uncommon, but she was really fortunate because she had really supportive friends and family. Two years ago, my, my niece uh, came out as transgender as well. I'm proud of my work in the state Senate to you know, expand LGBTQ protections to Virginia's fair housing law, to ban conversion therapy, to ensure the, those same protections in public employment, and to change the definition of marriage in Virginia's code at long last. These are, these are issues of basic human rights affecting my friends and my family. So it's always been you know, very important to me to make sure that we have true equality. We do have a real opportunity this year to elect a pro-equality majority to the House of Representatives and to the U.S. Senate.